Take your dog to your wedding. Oh no, I didn't need to know that information. So today I thought we should check out a very, very popular American television show called The Brady Bunch. We're gonna watch the very first episode of it ever. I can only find it on this pop-up. You'll see as it goes, there are things that pop up. I am familiar with The Brady Bunch in so far as I saw the updated movie, which was kind of a piss take of The Brady Bunch. I'll go for a walk outside. I've seen interviews with the actors after they grew up. I'm very curious to see the first ever, the inaugural episode. The Brady Bunch is very much taking the mickey out of these days in the sense that they're seen as like the perfect family. But in reality, they were a blended family. America's first popular blended family, I want to say, but I don't know that for a fact. Fun fact, 89.2% of facts are completely made up, especially those quoting statistics. Before I get into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, otherwise an unfortunate thing will befall you. And that thing will be, you'll be going to put a, a nail in the wall and you'll bang your finger. Oh gosh darn it, you weren't even hammering anything. So like, share, comment, subscribe. Going into this, I'm gonna point out the quality is not great. But that's what it is. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. That's the way Brady Bunch. Wow, look at that gaff in the car. They're in Beverly Hills? Oh my gosh. Okay, now look, boys. Let's all eat a good breakfast today. I know you're bound to be nervous, but we have to have plenty of nourishment. They're so little. It's important to have a good breakfast. We're almost finished, Dad. You didn't need anything at all. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, let's have my coffee. I don't blame you for being He's nervous, so Mr. Brady. This is a very important Saturday. So he brought the housekeeper with him. Saturday. Who said I'm nervous? I'm mature and I'm logical and I know I'm doing the right thing. Why should I be nervous? What makes you think I'm nervous? It's the first time I ever saw you take 21 spoons of sugar. <laughs> Okay, canned laughter. I mean, they still do it today. It's so annoying. You don't need canned laughter. Shows are so much better without canned laughter. I like it sweet. Every bridegroom's a little jumpy, Mr. Brady. It's a normal male reaction. He's getting yeah? married. For your generation. <laughs> I once saw a movie where a man was getting married. He was so nervous, he forgot to put his pants on. <laughs> Oh, we have such random facts, even his pants size. Thanks a lot. Would you sit down? I'm sure you're going to be very happy. That kid. I've never seen that kid before. Mm, she's out of sight, Dad. Did they Ruby. recast him? I think she's neato. I'm shaking like a leaf. The wedding's only an hour away, and I can't even brush oh. your hair. And I've got to fix yours, too. And Cindy, what happened to you? Oh, my girls? God. Ago, they are girls. tiny little oh, girls. Look at me. Brides are supposed to be beautiful, and I look awful. No, we she's a, a big bride, mm. as we'd How say. How can you girls sit there age? and say that I look beautiful? She is beautiful. I love you. Girls. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at Marsha. You think of Marsha as teenage Marsha, basically played by a girl in her 20s, like in the movie. Whenever you talk about Marsha Brady, they say young woman, which is, like, so wrong. She's a little girl. But, yeah, they're all gorgeous kids, gorgeous mom. Gorgeous family. Oh, you do like Mike, don't you? Sure we like him. A lot. You know how oh. much we like him? How much? This much. <laughs> oh, she's so little. I'm sure we're all going to be very happy. How are you coming? Okay, Dad. Let's have a little inspection here. <laughs> Looks like you got dressed in the dark here. <laughs> there you go. They good. dyed his hair you in later episodes. That's why Thank I don't recognize him. <laughs> well, let's get going. Not right for a man to be late for a wedding, especially his own. <laughs> you know something? Your mother would be very proud of you right now. Great, Peter. The mother's never again oh, mentioned on, on the show. Oh, oh my that's God, that's brutal. Right. Oh, I can stay his home now. This is just for the family. Alice is gonna be there. Alice is a member of the family. So is Tyre. He's our brother. Oh, look, boys. I love you, and I love Tiger, too, but we are not taking a dog to a wedding. <gasps> you have to take your dog to your wedding. Oh, no. 
I didn't need to know that information. Hey, look, Dad, the caterers are here. Good, I'm hungry. I got a well new dollhouse. Dollhouse. Dad. That sounds like fun. Yuck. Bobby, remember when I told you? Come on. What? What? <laughs> Don't they look cute together? Thank you. They kissed in real life. I mean the kid. Oh, what's see. My, I want you to see something. What, you have a swell new dollhouse, too? Oh, my. <laughs> Mom and Dad, would you excuse us? Why, sure. No, it's just the beginning. For both of us. Uh-uh. For all of us. Right. That's crazy that we never find out what happened to Carol's first husband. Was he just a deadbeat dad? It's awfully convenient for the storyline that there are no step-parents involved though, right? Like, because that would make things a little bit more complicated, for sure. To love and cherish, till death do you part. I do. I now pronounce you man and wife, they whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Uh -huh. Why aren't you going to kiss the brother? Continuity. <laughs> you bet I am. Fluffy has a box out there. How would none of the six children go, ugh, because I have a niece, she's 10, and anytime anybody is affectionate, she goes, ugh, let the dog out of the car, that's so cruel. <laughs> yeah, yay! He should be at the wedding. That dog, they don't love their dog. I don't like the Brady's now. Reverend, I'm so sorry. Well, it's all right. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> Just on that pop up, Miss Manners says a second wedding should be more subdued than a first. That is the biggest load of waffle ever. If you are getting married for a second time, go all out. Do whatever you want. Have a small wedding if you want. Have a huge wedding if you want. Do whatever you want. There's no etiquette when it comes to how you want to celebrate your look. <laughs> nice cake. My, thank goodness you saved the cake. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> It's all very family friendly, of course. Oh, I'd kill him, ruining my look on my wedding day. This is what we wanted. A nice, quiet wedding. Oh, I forgot. What? Champagne has a terrible effect on me. It makes me dizzy. Oh, champagne has a terrible effect on me, too. What? Well, <laughs> You'll find out. Oh, Michael Brady, you stop. Your Fun fact, just relating to that pop up there that said champagne has a positive sexual effect on women. Uh, women apparently, I've heard, enjoy the act more in a full stomach, so always feature a woman. I was a big tiger was going to hurt Fluffy. Maybe I'm on her side. <laughs> but Dad shouldn't have yelled at us. We were only trying to help. He didn't yell at the girls, and it was their cat that caused the trouble. He only yelled at boys, us. I guess that's the way it's going to be around here from now well, on. Just because they're Carol's kids, we're going to get blamed for everything. That raises an interesting question, and it's one that should be answered before you step into a relationship with a person who has a child. Are you allowed to discipline their children or not? Or does it just happen naturally? But it's definitely like something you should ask because they're not your children. And the service, the service is great. I can think of nothing worse than dinner in the bedroom like that. Go to a restaurant, have fun. Do they not like each other? Put that dog back in the car. I told him back. Put that dog back in the car. Let's go. Like this? It's an emergency. Mr. Brady! Don't worry, Mr. Brady, we'll be back. With the kids? All the kids? How would you girls like to come along with us? 
On your honeymoon? That's right. Oh, boy, I've never been on a honeymoon. Come on, Craig, we're all gonna go together. Now go get some clothes on. You boys get ready. He's only 35? In real life or in the TV Alice show? Alice is right I always here. thought he was like in his 40s. What are you doing up at this hour? Well, I figured you'd be back. I packed the boys' clothes last night. <laughs> what a great premise for a series, though. Awesome. I really enjoyed that. Apart from all the dog hate, I really enjoyed it. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye. When I get married, you are absolutely going to be at the wedding. You're going to be like the most important thing at the wedding. You might even carry the ring. Okay? We'll get you a little tux. That would be so cute. So cute.